good morning students welcome to committed to algebra lectures in this lecture we will discuss about exactness of tensor products last class we have seen tensor product of modules so now we will see uh, uh, exactness of such sequence of tensor product right okay so <clears throat> To start with, we will prove an uh, interesting and useful result which uh, gives relation between three modules. Suppose, sorry. Suppose M and N and P, if these three are A modules, okay, then consider this home M tensor N to that means all homomorphisms from M tensor N to P, this is isomorphic to home M, home N comma P. Okay. So we have to understand this one properly. Then how one can define a map and uh, what is this one? Okay. So that the proof is not difficult. We have to we should understand how any element look like here and any element look like here. For example. What is this home m tensor n comma p? This is all the uh, homomorphisms of the form f maps from m tensor n to p, right? And what about this? They are all maps from, so if you call it some g, so this one is all maps from g m to this home n comma p, okay? So what is this one? Again, if you try to understand this further, for any element if you take suppose if you call it g if you take any m here then g of m belongs to here so i'll write here this one okay gm so any element here uh, evaluation that means g evaluated at any element of m is again a map right so gm is a map from n to p right for every m belongs to m this one is a is nothing but like this right okay so if you can understand this one then proving or some uh, isomorphism is not at all difficult we will try to define a map home m tensor n comma p to here right so take any f f map from m tensor n to p right somehow we want to define so this phi of f should belongs to here right so we want to define a phi such a way that phi of f belongs to here that means phi of f is a map from where to where m to home n comma p right that means what if you apply phi of f on any x say something then it is a map from n comma p right so that means it should belongs to home n comma p right that means phi f of x okay and if you take any element y in n, this should belongs to p. So we want to define phi such that this all should happen, right? So therefore, phi f of x comma y comma this one, right? We want to make sure that it belongs to p. So how, how we can do that? Because our f is a map from m tensor n to p, okay? Where this x is in m and this y is in n. So therefore it makes sense to define this as f of x tensor y. So if we define f of this phi of f of x evaluated at y as f of x tensor y, then it belongs to p, right? So we have defined this f in this way. We want to make sure that it is well defined in the sense phi of f belongs to, phi of f is actually a homomorphism from m here, then phi, a, phi of x is a homomorphism from n to p, right? So the checking the things are not at all difficult. What is meant by saying phi f is a homomorphism? So phi f, phi f is a homomorphism means what? It, if you take any two elements here, okay, then and you add them, that means phi f of, if you take some x plus y, we want to show that this is same as, of course, I'm not taking scalars and so on, that you can do it, is same as phi f of x plus phi f of y okay and similarly if you time a times this you can show this right 
So we have to use the fact that F is a homomorphism from M tensor N to P and char, right? So that we can use it. It is not at all difficult one. Then <clears throat> second one, we want to show that this phi F of X is a, should also belong, this belongs to home N comma P. What is meaning of saying that it is, it is a homomorphism from N to P? So phi f of x, it is just like a single function, right? When you apply any element, some say, suppose n1 plus n2 and n, we want to show that this is same as phi f x of n1 plus phi f x of n2, okay? This is proving that is not at all difficult. I'll skip that. You can check from here. It is very easy, okay? So therefore, phi is a uh, well-defined map. Now we can show that phi is 1, 1, on 2 and homomorphism. What is meant by saying that phi is 1, 1? If at all, phi of, if you take any f1, we want to show that it is same as phi of f2, right? But this is a map. So when we say that two maps are equal, when you evaluate at those points, that means this is same as, it should be same as x is same as phi f2 of x, okay, for every x in m. But it is again a map, right? So that means when you apply on that y, okay, this is actually for every y in n for every y in n. So showing this one, okay, that means uh, if this is equal, is same as saying that this is equal for every x in m, for every y in n. But this is same as f of x, y, x tensor y, f1 of x tensor y, this is f2 of x tensor y. That means they are agree on tensor, so therefore they are actually agree. So that means f1 is equal to f2. It shows that it is 1, 1. Then what is meant by saying that is on to, this map is on to means if you take any element here, we want to get that there is some element pre-image here, right? So how any element look like here? So you take to show it is on to, let G is a map from M to home N comma P, right? Then somehow we want to get some phi of F is equal to G like this, right? So whenever you want to say phi of F is equal to G, again, we want to say here X comma Y, all those things we want to use it, right? So you can define this map F prime, and a is as g of x comma y then show that it is a bilinear map so you get a map f map from m tensor n to p right which is same as this g of x comma y so therefore you will get phi of f of x comma y is equal to g of x comma okay so this calculation is simply nothing but showing something this f prime is bilinear okay so there exists f which is f of x tensor y is same as g of x comma y right so therefore phi of f of x comma y is a, by our definition is f, f of x tensor y which is same as g of x of y. That means phi of f is equal to g that shows that phi is on right. So therefore what we have here is this result we will use it in next uh, proving home m tensor n comma p is x isomorphic to home then m home n comma p okay. Now we'll come to the exactness of this tensor products to this. Yeah, what it says is that you take m prime to m, m to m double prime to zero. If this is an exact sequence, okay, then by tensoring with uh, any n module n, you will get again exact. That means what we are talking about is m prime to m, m to m double prime to zero. If this is f and this is g, suppose if this is exact, if this is exact, then what we have here is m prime, you take any n, which is an a module, m prime tensor n to m tensor n to m double prime tensor n to 0 is again exact. Okay. Fine. Uh, of course, this maps we know already. What is this one? F tensor 1 and this is G tensor 1. One means identity, right? Fine. <clears throat> so, proof is not difficult to one. Uh, we use already known fact and we'll try to use uh, this result above result also because uh, last class we have seen that if we have whenever this is an exact then for any n module when you apply home what we get here is this is exact that means 0 to home m double prime to n prime so uh, we are taking n prime as any module okay Th this will be reversed so home m to n prime then home m prime to uh, n prime this is exact okay we we know that this is exact okay now this n prime we will take as our home n comma p because it is true for any n prime a module so we are taking in particular home n comma p which is any module and substitute here so that means in place of n prime if you write this one 
we get this is an exact sequence right now using the above result what we have just now proved what is this value this value is actually equal to home m double prime tensor n comma p so therefore you get home m double prime tensor n comma p home m tensor n p home m prime tensor n p right then again using that previous result from uh, home to uh, original sequence how you can go therefore this will be reversed again so that means m prime tensor n to m tensor n then m double prime tensor n to zero this is exact and that is what we want to show right is that clear so we want to show that this is exact so whenever you have an exact sequence by tensoring with n you will get this exact sequence right but it should be of this form okay so we have used those two results here now one can observe some remarks that if something is exact at m then by tensoring n it need not be exact that means if m prime to m uh, to m double prime is exact by tensoring with n for any n uh, a module n it need not be exact okay so what you require is you require uh, just like how, how you have seen from here this much is also you require this should go to zero right okay <clears throat> Uh, this quickly you can uh, check this you take simply as z okay then uh, you can have uh, 0 to z then z to z simply send x to 2 times x okay this is your f and it is an injective map you can check that so therefore you get this is xz right then uh, you simply take n is z mod 2z okay and then you can verify that this one is not an exact sequence because f of 1 tensor 1 times 1 if you take here then it is not this is zero but this one ten, one times one is not zero here right okay, so this is you can write here tensor so one tensor one is not zero but this f tensor one of this value is zero therefore it is not exact sequence right so now it need not it need not be even if m prime to m to m double prime if this is exact not necessary that when you tensor with n that need not be exact okay if at all it is exact then we say that that n is called a flat module which we define now so a module n is said to be flat flat module if whenever m prime to m m to m double prime is an exact sequence then after tensoring with n we should have a exact sequence okay then we say that that such module is called flat module okay so after tensoring also exact sequence should be preserved then we say it is a flat mode we'll uh, have quickly some characterization uh, of this flat modules okay so take n a, any a module then the following are equivalent n is flat is same as saying that whenever you have a short exact sequence then you have a after tensoring you have a short exact sequence so flat module uh, takes short exact sequence to short exact sequence and same as saying that whenever you have a map from m prime to m is injective then after tensoring also you should have a injective okay so <clears throat> we'll what we'll prove is one is same as two two is same as three okay one if and only if two two if and only if three so therefore all will become equal uh, clearly if one implies two if n is flat then because it is given to be exact sequence by definition of flat when you tensor with n you will get exact so it is exact sequence right what is uh, to prove is that 2 implies 1 okay so suppose assume that uh, suppose assume that you have this a short exact sequence is exact we want to show that n is flat that means what we want to show that it is exact uh, whenever you have mi minus 1 to mi to mi plus 1 okay the, if you have this much is a se exact sequence then we want to show that uh, after tensoring with n it is also exact <clears throat> right uh, but we already know that from every uh, such exact sequence you can always have a short exact sequence namely 0 to ni to mi ni plus 1 where ni is image of this fi okay which is same as kernel of fi plus 1 okay so therefore image of phi i this map image of phi i we know is same as image of fi but which is same as kernel of fi plus 1 but kernel of fi plus 1 is again same as image of this right so what you have here is this one that means when you uh, from this by our assumption 
when you multiply tensor with n 0 to ni to n, ni tensor n then mi tensor n ni plus 1 tensor n 0 is exact okay <coughs> that is given to us right that means what is meant by saying this is exact so image of this one is same as kernel of this right so image of phi i tensor 1 is same as kernel of phi i plus 1 tensor but this is same as image of phi i tensor n and this is phi i plus 1 tensor n okay but this is same as image of phi i we know it's same as image of f i tensor n and kernel of phi i plus 1 is same as kernel of f i plus 1 right so therefore you get that image of f i tensor 1 is same as kernel of f i plus 1 tensor 1 okay so that means what we have shown is this m i minus 1 tensor n then m i tensor n m i plus 1 tensor n is exact at m i tensor n that shows that n is flat right okay <clears throat> now what is 2 implies 3 and 3 implies 2 suppose assume that you have that uh, tensor with respect to short exact sequence then we want to show that whenever you have an injective map then tensoring is also injective so suppose assume that f maps from m prime to m is injective we want to show that f tensor 1 our claim is we want to show that f tensor 1 is injective okay fine <clears throat> so how we do this because this f maps from m prime to m is injective then you take 0 to m prime to m and actually here there is one more zero is there you take this one you will get this is a short exact sequence so you can easily check that uh, what i am talking is 0 to m prime to m then just like take this okay 0 to 0 map and so on you can check that it is a short exact sequence okay uh, short exact sequence <coughs> uh, then by using that given condition after tensoring also you will get so here also if you write two times or one time doesn't matter okay uh, that is also exact that means this is exact means this f tensor 1 is an injective map and that is what we want to prove right conversely assume that uh, if you have whenever uh, whenever f is injective then f tensor 1 is injective if you have that then we want to show that uh, for short exact sequence after tensoring also it is short exact so consider 0 to m prime so 0 to m prime and then m m double prime is exact we want to show that after tensoring also we should get exact sequence right but from here what we know is that m tensor n okay because this much if you take this much if you take then what property we have proved for tensor product is m prime tensor n to m tensor n to m double prime tensor n to zero is exact just now we have proved that result right that means it shows that this uh, also f is injective okay because this uh, because it is exact so this f is injective map. that means by our uh, this assumption f tensor 1 is injective so this map is injective right then uh, this implies 0 to m prime tensor n f tensor 1 this is exact right <clears throat> because here g tensor 1 this is surjective map right that proves that uh, whatever after tensoring we want to show that it is exact right <clears throat> okay so just only we have to make sure that this when you this much we want to make sure that it is exact so for that we want to have f tensor 1 is injective that we got from given assumption so therefore this entire short exact sh short sequence is exact sequence okay fine so these are the some of the properties of uh, tensor product and short exact sequence mm, uh, we'll stop here we'll see other topics in next class